Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Jerry Views. In this video, I will show you guys a pretty cool app which will allow you to filter the traffic of your iOS 11 device. You can set different privacy settings, block different websites, and of course, block Safari ads, pop-ups, banners, all that stuff. And by doing that, of course, it will save you a lot of data, and of course, it will save you battery as well. So the first thing you will need to do after you install this app, which is called Edgard Pro, the first thing you will need to do is open settings and then go to Safari, go to content blockers and enable it right there. Once you have done that, you can open the app and here you have a few settings you can configure. First of all is the privacy settings. So you enable them right here. Then you have DNS settings. So you have here different DNS configurations that you can choose and apply them to your device. So you, you have the system default right here. Then you have something like family protection, which will block adult websites and that stuff. Then you have like DNS safe, which will block viruses and dangerous websites. And you have other ones like Google public DNS, quad nine DNS, and you have a bunch here and you have also some encrypted DNS servers right here. And of course you can add your own custom one. So let's go back. We have some more privacy settings right here. Here's where you can block websites so they don't load on Safari on your device. If you go to blacklist, you can just tap here and you can add any website that you want. And then you have whitelist as well. If you add a website here to the whitelist, that website will open and the other ones won't open on your device. So on the blacklist here, I have Apple. And if I go to Safari, you can see if I try to load Apple, even though my device is connected to the internet, it won't load Apple at all. And now let's move to Safari filters. If you go here to filters, you will have a few filters that you can enable. So basically English filter will block all English ads, spyware filter, social media filter will block like pop-ups that ask you to share the social media and you have other annoyances right here. So just enable any of them and they will be applied to Safari. User filters or filters that you add through Safari using Edgard. I will show you that in a second. And you have whitelist. So if you enter a website to the whitelist, that means that Edgard won't block any ads or pop-ups on that website. So let's go to Safari and let's open here apple.com. Okay, so from here, from Safari, you can go here and tap the add guard button and from here you can enable add guard on this website if you leave this off it will be on the white list and you can also block different elements of a website you just tap there tap start choose the element click here and this will add this element to the user filter right there and this element of the website will be blocked from now on when you open the website that element won't show at all so that's it for this video guys, thank you for watching, this is Edgard Pro, it will make your experience browsing the web way better on Safari, so go ahead, give it a try, I will leave it linked right down below in the description of the video, don't forget to subscribe for more videos, and I'll see you guys on the next one.